Hello everyone, the nerd very here and in this video we will quickly learn about the anatomy of intercostal spaces. So what is an intercostal space? The intercostal space is the space between two ribs. So this is rib 1 and this is rib 2. So the space between these two ribs is known as the intercostal space. So the intercostal space will be the space between the two ribs, this space, right? So if we see in the thoracic cage, then the intercostal space will be this space that you can see over here between the two ribs. And over here, this is one rib and this is another rib and yellow represents the intercostal space, right? Now, over here, let us understand what are the contents of the intercostal space. So in anatomy, whenever we talk about contents, contents are mostly artery, vein, that is vascular structures, Sometimes lymphatics are also present in certain structures. And finally, the fourth point is we have nerves, right? And finally, we have muscles. These are the contents, common contents of any anatomical spaces. All right. So now over here also in intercostal space, we have, we have artery, we have vein, we have nerve and we have muscle. We don't have any major lymphatic over here. All right. So let us one by one learn about the contents of the intercostal space. Here, let us first learn about the muscles of the intercostal space. So the muscles of the intercostal space are three. So muscles are external intercostal muscle, internal intercostal muscle, and innermost intercostal muscle. Right. So let us see the arrangement of these muscles. First, I will draw the external intercostal muscle, right? This is the external intercostal muscle. Over here, I should write down over here that this, this is the external aspect of the rib and this is the internal aspect of the rib, right? Now, with another color, maybe uh, light green, I will be drawing the internal intercostal muscle, right? So this is, here goes your internal intercostal muscle. And finally, if you see with this uh, the deep blue color, let me draw the innermost intercostal muscle. So I have drawn the three intercostal muscles, the external, internal and innermost. Now by now, you can understand from my drawing that these muscles are very thin membrane-like slips, which connect the two adjacent ribs, right? Now, these muscles, the fibers of these muscles have specific fiber arrangement. So, the fiber arrangement of these muscles we have to study. Right. Now, for external intercostal muscle, I will draw the fiber arrangement over here. So, external intercostal muscle, the fiber arrangement is, as you can see, it is downward, forward, and medially. Right. Now for, in, uh, for internal intercostal muscle, the fiber arrangement is downward, backward and laterally. So it is downward, backward and laterally. Right. And you will be surprised to know that that the innermost intercostal muscle also follows the same arrangement as that of internal intercostal muscle. So these are the fiber arrangements, right? So now if we quickly, if we annotate the muscles, this is your internal intercostal muscle. This is your innermost, innermost intercostal muscle. And this red one over here, this is your external intercostal muscle. Right, now we will go and see the neurovascular structures over here. So, what are the neurovascular structures we have? Neurovascular structures, right. So, the neurovascular structures, if I draw on the picture, then the neurovascular structures will be from above downward, there we will have the a blue color, a uh, uh, venous structure which is nothing but your intercostal vein 
then we will have the intercostal artery and finally we will have the intercostal nerve intercostal nerve so now over here if you look very closely in the neurovascular structures the arrangement from above downward is van this is the mnemonic that you have to remember that is above downward the neurovascular structures are arranged as van so this is very important right so if you have noticed or not i don't know if you see very closely the neurovascular structures are present towards the upper part towards the upper part of the intercostal space right so whenever we perform any kind of uh, paracentesis or pleural tapping we try to go for pleural tapping near the upper border of the rib so that we don't injure any neurovascular structure so this is how we do a pleural tapping right so whenever you will be doing pleural tapping always go from the upper border of a rib right so that you do not injure the neurovascular structures present in the intercostal space so this is in short the brief understanding of anatomical arrangement of different structures in the intercostal space i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video please hit the like button share this video among your friends and peers in your medical school or college and if you want more such videos from my channel please do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you never ever miss a video from my channel so meet you in the next one